Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today I'm reviewing the brand new cigar from Altadas. This is the Henry Clay Warhawk Toro. This is the first of a three-part series of cigars called Immortal Trio. Uh, the Warhawk recognizes Henry Clay's spearheading the movement that led to the War of 1812. The term Warhawk, of course, we've heard that even in today's environment was coined and now used in political circles to describe one who favors war as an ultimate resolution of a conflict. The Warhawk cigar is aptly named for Henry Clay's influence. They describe it as a little bit rebellious to the normal Henry Clay cigar using a Connecticut broadleaf uh, wrapper. This cigar uses an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. A broadleaf binder and Honduran filler comes in three sizes, a Corona, Robusto, and Toro. This is Today's choice to review is the Toro 6x50. There is your density. Actually, not very heavy in the hand. It feels dense, but it does not have a lot of weight. So we'll see how that translates. So let's get right to it. The new Henry Clay Warhawk. All righty. Now, I've not done anything with these bands, but for me, that band's a little close up here. And it, and it won't move, so I'll have to deal with that. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Good draw. The perfect draw will not be needed for this one. Hopefully you've all got those by now. That's a good draw. Well, your first flavors are a little tangy cedar with a lot of cinnamon attached directly to it. Some underlying brown sugar, cream, leather, and a very earthy black coffee. A white pepper at a seven and a half. So that's how you start. Not a bad start. I'm anxious to see how it develops though. Let's see how it does go. Well, I'm here at first third. This means nothing, but I like that band. It's very clean. I like it. The uh, Henry Clay, very not very nice. The red and white looks good. All right, the flavors are just like I described in the initial assessment. Sort of a tangy cedar with a lot of cinnamon attached to it. Light brown sugar leather and a very earthy black coffee. The cream notes are gone. I have no idea where they got, went to, but they're not there anymore. The pepper seems to be moving over to a black pepper. It's, it's, it's sort of in the transition stage, but it's actually up. It's probably up to close to an eight. The finish You know, the finish is odd. It's sort of leather. And although I don't really have much on the front end, I, I need to think about it. But there's like nutmeg on the finish. Odd for Honduran. A minor amount of lingering pepper. White pepper. 
medium body. It's I, I you know, I thought as heavy as the uh, earthy black coffee was, it almost tastes fuller than that, but I would call it medium body. The cigar is not bad. It's not wowing me, but it's not bad. It uh, has some nice flavors. I like the cinnamon directly. It has, it's a lot of cinnamon attached to that cedar. I'm starting the scoring off here at first order of 89. And we're going to see how it transitions through the next two. That's how we start the first third. Well, here we are at the end of the second third. And the flavors are changing just a bit. Still have that tangy, sweet cedar with cinnamon. The brown sugar is a little more noticeable. The leather is toning down. The earthiness in the black coffee has toned down. Although there's still plenty of black coffee, it's toned down the earthiness. There may be a thread of nutmeg in there with that leather. It's not as detectable on the front end as it is on the finish. Medium body, sort of leaning toward medium to full now, barely. The finish is unchanged. This cigar is like right on the line with me as far as <clears throat> would I buy it? Would I uh, have it again? It's, it's right there. It's right there. It, I, I'm holding the score of 89 because it's not bad. It's just not jumping out at me. But it's a good. It's a good cigar. I almost believe that someone <clears throat> not as seasoned in cigars that like the fuller, bolder cigars would like this. This is like a transition cigar from a beginner to somebody a little more advanced. But let's see what the final third brings. I mean, the, the, the sweet, that's definitely a high point of the cigar is the sweet tangy cedar. So, uh, as I said, just judging it on flavors, let's see what the uh, final third brings. As you can see, I've removed the lower band. We are down to the end, so let's wrap it up. There's really not a lot to report here in the final third that changed because it didn't, except for the strength. I would say it is definitely medium to full body. The flavors are just like they were. I would say the flavors are just like they were, but there is a little uptick, uptick in the nutmeg which on the front end, which is now noticeable. The tangy, sweet cedar is very nice. The pepper did finally transition over fully to a black pepper, and it is very good in this cigar. <clears throat> it never got below seven and a half. <clears throat> the finish just didn't change. Mm, there's more lingering black pepper. I guess it did change. But this cigar, again, I reiterate, is right on the line with me. I like it, but it just doesn't excite me. But I fully suggest you try it because you will see that it's not a bad cigar at all. I actually would hold the score of 89 giving it an overall score of just that 89 it is a good cigar that is just right at the line of how many how many you know meaning for me how much i would want to smoke it again but it's a good cigar there's nothing wrong with it everybody's different a lot of you may think it's right up your alley but uh 
good cigar. So there you have it. The Henry Clay Warhawk Toro. 89.